Good evening. I came back to Brickfield here in Waterloo. Just to observe after the first 24 hours, the tide would have changed, of course. And by extension, we could see that the seedlings that was voluntarily planted have survived. So that's congratulations to all who, of course, volunteered their time, their expertise and so on to do this massive exercise that happened yesterday in collaboration with the Ministry of Planning and Development, Institute of Marine Affairs and so on. I came back this afternoon. The tide is actually receding here this evening. So some of the plants, if we look closely, some of the seedlings would have, of course, dropped. But the root is there, so I would not um, over speculate that they would survive. But the majority of them have withstood the test. And as was described yesterday, we could see in the distance, the coastline is of course very vulnerable and exposed to the elements. So factors, the climate change and whatnot, of course, any effort to mitigate these damages that not only hampers the fishery, but of course, as we described yesterday, hampers the livelihoods of those who depend on the fishery more directly. And the other plus coming out of the exercise here is an opportunity to showcase the vulnerabilities of fishing communities.